Hello. So, I got a request the other day, somebody asking me how um, I handle restaurant work, and they were asking for some advice, so I'm going to post it right here. <clears throat> now, anyway, my restaurant advice is just for a place where you are being paid to perform. I never go anywhere and accept tips from people that didn't hire me. The only person that can hire me, or sorry, the only person that can tip me is the person that hired me. So, some of you people that work for tips, I'm sorry, my advice probably won't work. But if you're being paid to be at the restaurant, then, then hopefully my advice will help. So, um, I've just written a few things down here. <clears throat> so, when I go into a restaurant, uh, I'm wearing my, what I call, adult balloon twisting outfit. And that's my, my tuxedo shirt with a, a vest and the bow tie and the... The, the dress pants or the tuxedo pants with the dress shoes. I'm looking very, what I would call professional. And I, I'm also specifically trying to set myself apart from the servers or even the restaurant itself. When I go into a restaurant, I don't want to hear from this, the, the person I'm twisting balloons for about how the service isn't very good or how the food is uh, not very good. Or, or of course, if it's really good, then I do want to hear that. But if it's not very good, that's not my area. I want the people to know that I am the balloon twister. I'm not the cook and I'm not the dishwasher. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> and one of the ways that they know I'm the balloon twister is I wear a hat. Always I wear a hat. And I wear a simple hat because lots of people will ask for a very complicated hat if you're wearing a very complicated hat. And remember, where I go, I have to get to every single table in that restaurant. I can't just go back and forth from kids that want balloons to kids that don't because every kid wants a balloon because they're not paying for it or the parents aren't paying for it. Okay, So I wear something simple like this Okay, and that way it just lets them know that I'm the balloon twister, I'm not the cook. Okay? So <clears throat> let's see what else do I have. Okay, so just before I start working in the restaurant and the two places that I go on a regular basis, I kind of get myself all set up and I scan the restaurant. I think, okay, which table will I start at? Now, at some restaurants, you can figure it out immediately, like the two that I go to. Um, what you will see is there'll be a styrofoam package at one end of the table. That means that they're ready to go because they've got their doggy bag or their take-home bag, or whatever you want to call it. Another thing, and once again, it's at both restaurants that I am, the kids get ice cream, little ice cream cones as a, you know, little dessert. So, if you see the, the styrofoam package or you see the ice cream cones on the table or the, the, the trays that hold the ice cream, then you know that table is ready to leave. So that's where I go first. And as I'm twisting balloons, at one restaurant I'm able to kind of skip back and forth and back and forth. Just because it's a bit smaller restaurant, the other restaurant that I am at, it is nuts busy, almost non-stop. So I pretty much have to pick a table that I'm going to start at and just go from table to table to, and just keep going almost around the full circle around the whole restaurant and then I do the inside. But anyway, you'll hopefully figure all of that out. Now, at a restaurant that's not busy, you've got, you know, 10, 15 seconds to let the child like you. So what I do is I'll walk up to the table when I, you know, at the restaurant I have a bit more time. I'll say, hey, how you doing and blah, 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 how was your day? You know, you, whatever length of time that takes, but not too long. And then you'll ask, and what would you like today, big boy or big girl, whoever you're making, or, or sisters, brothers, whatever. You'd ask them what they'd like, okay, because I take requests. And hopefully they've been thinking of something already and, and, and they'll tell you. Now if you've got two or three kids at the table and one of the children doesn't know, we'll ask another child what they'd like. Okay. Now I'll go back to the other restaurant that is that I work that is not busy. I don't have that kind of time, so I'll walk up right away <clears throat> and I'll ask the child, say it's a, a boy, can I make you a dinosaur? 
And hopefully they're going to say yes. If they don't like that, then think of a few other things. If they don't like that, then go on to the next child. You kind of got to get the moving fairly quickly in this area. And when you're twisting the balloon, that's when you can go to the pattern of how was your day and how was school and whatever else. Then they'll kind of like you as you're twisting the balloon. Um, it's also nice at the one restaurant that I work at, I... If, for, if it's a birthday child, I always make the birthday boy or birthday girl something very special. Now, whatever you make that is very special, you make that. But make sure it's something that only the birthday child gets. Okay, so only the birthday boy at the one restaurant will get a motorcycle, a big motorcycle. The other children can get a motorcycle, it just won't be the big one. Okay, and you'd be surprised how many people will come to your restaurant just for the birthday boy or birthday girl balloon thing. Um, let's see, what else do I have written down here? Oh yeah, don't give the staff balloons. You are there for the customers. So when a staff member asks me for a balloon, I tell them, it's a bit of a lie, but the manager says the only time I can give staff balloons is when they are customers. Other than that, I'm sorry, I cannot. Because once you start making for one staff member, you're going to make for all staff members and you will make for staff members every single time you are there. So don't do it. That's my advice. If you want to do it, you go right ahead. Um, another thing that... Uh, oh yeah, okay. So you've made your balloon thing and you're just ready to, I say, wrap up the table. And you've got your business card ready. And so what... You, what I do is I, and here's my business card, I am here and then say, you know, one restaurant, I say I'm here every Monday and give them the card and then I say, or any other event you have. The other restaurant I'm at, I say, and thanks for coming tonight, I'm here every second Tuesday or any other event you have. Because I do every single type of event, you can imagine. I do adult birthday parties, I do weddings, I do, you name the function, I've done it. Okay, so make sure everybody gets a card. Don't be afraid to take a hundred cards to the restaurant and only give out 50. Because if you only take out 50 cards and you needed a hundred, well, you've made a big mistake, haven't you? Okay, so anyway, uh, hopefully that answers some of the questions. One thing about restaurant twisting is be prepared to also move out of the way of the staff. Even though people have come to the restaurant for your balloon, they're really there for the food, okay? So make sure that, that you get out of the way of the staff, be friendly with the staff. Now when it comes to me, like I say, I do not accept any tips. Some people have forced tips on me, and when they do that, I give the money to the server at that table. You'd be surprised how many servers really like me now. Um... That might be about it for now. If you have any questions or something I can help you with, please leave a comment and if I, if I can, I'll reply to that. Anyway, have a great day and I, I hope this helps. Okay, bye.